Hello everyone and welcome to Adanthrax Games Tips and Tricks video. In this video I'll be showing you how to transfer and back up your Fallout Shelter save files between your mobile, Android devices, and PC. This can be helpful if you're like me and enjoy playing the mobile version of the game on the go, but want the full screen and PC controlled experience at home. You'll also learn how to make copies and back up your save files, which can be helpful if you're switching phones or just want to keep a backup copy for safety. What you do with the files is only limited by your imagination. To get started, you're going to need a few things. First off, grab your phone and cable to connect it to your computer by USB. You don't need a special cable, just whatever came with your phone or whatever you use when you're transferring music or other files. On the PC side, you're going to want to have an updated version of Bluestacks App Player installed. Within Bluestacks, you'll also want to have Fallout Shelter as well as ES File Explorer, both of which are completely free. There's no need to have a premium copy of Bluestacks, the free version works fine for our purposes here today. To begin, we're going to connect the phone to your PC by USB. Once connected, use Windows Explorer to navigate to your phone contents. You'll want to open the Android folder first, then navigate to Data, and find the Fallout Shelter folder, often named com.bethsoft.falloutshelter. Inside this folder, open the folder called Files and look for your saved vaults. They'll be named Vault 1, Vault 2, etc. To move the files from this stage, simply select them and copy them over to your PC like you would when working with any other file. You might want to create a backups folder and put the files there for safekeeping, or email a copy to yourself, whatever you want to do with them. So once you've backed up your vaults, make a new copy into your Public Photos folder. This is found most of the time in your C drive under the folder Users, Public, and then Pictures. Paste a copy of your vaults here. I would encourage you to make a folder here as well named Vault Backups or Fallout Shelter, and then boot up Bluestacks and ES File Explorer once Bluestacks is loaded. Within ES File Explorer, we're going to use the navigation window to open the SD card folder, then the Windows folder, and then open Public Pictures. You should see in here the folder you created plus the three vault files. If you don't, you may have saved them into the wrong profile. Double check your save location and move the files around as needed. Once you find them with ES File Explorer, left click the first vault and hold down the mouse button until the file highlights. Repeat this step for all of your vault files until all the ones that you plan to copy are highlighted. Once ready, left click any of the highlighted files and drag them to the top left hand corner where you will see a share icon appear. From the share menu, select ES Save To. This brings up a little menu and next we'll navigate to the emulated storage created by Bluestacks. The Fallout Shelter save folder is found inside a folder named Android, then Data, and then the com.bethsoft.falloutshelter folder, just like on your phone, and then the saves go into the Files folder there. Copy the files to this location. Once they're copied, go back to the main Bluestacks screen and launch Fallout Shelter. Now in your vaults list, you're going to see the vaults you just copied over and can play them on your PC. You can reverse the steps we've gone through today to move the files in the opposite direction, say if you'd like to copy over the vaults you created on your PC to your phone instead. I hope that you found this trick helpful, whether you just want some peace of mind knowing your save files are safe, or maybe you're like me and you like to switch between mobile owl and PC without losing or duplicating progress. These steps will only work as far as I know on PC to Android phones, although you may be able to use some of the basic information such as file locations if attempting the same thing with the iOS version. If you found this video helpful, consider tossing the video a like or subscribing for more content in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.